Well, hello, my loves. Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts, and welcome back to my channel. So, in addition to the titles of educator, crochet designer, I also consider myself a collector, a curator, a connoisseur if you will, of all things crochet. I look for every opportunity to try the newest things on the market and add things to my stash when appropriate. Now, I typically find out about new products by being on everybody's email list, but also by being part of different launches that happen throughout the year. Back in December of 2022, I had the opportunity to be part of one of my favorite company, We Crochet's launch of their Dots crochet hooks. I had a chance to try the hooks early and I even did a testimonial that ended up on the website. Now, one thing I didn't tell We Crochet when I first saw those hooks is how much they were reminded me of Clover Amours. They've got the brushed aluminum hook heads, the colored handles, they even have the size of the hook debossed into the handle. Now come on, you saw what I saw. I have been a Clover Amour cheerleader for ages, so now that there is a contender on the market, I have thoughts. In today's video, I am comparing these two hook sets side by side to see if one or both of them deserve some space in your stash. Now if that sounds like a good time to you, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for even more free crochet patterns, tutorials, and product reviews. Now, before we get to the good stuff, we do have some bills to pay. Take it away, Ad Roll Tony. Today's video is sponsored by one of our new friends, Book of the Month. Now, Book of the Month is a hardback book subscription service that brings the freshest finds right to your door. Every month, you get to pick from a selection of different genres and new authors, and then your pick is tucked into Book of the Month's iconic blue box for your reading pleasure. I'm super grateful to partner with Book of the Month again because they're supporting my initiative to read more physical books. I'm really getting into the groove now. I have a whole ritual where I'm going to brew a fresh pot of coffee, find the comfy seat in my house, and read for hours and hours. This month's selection was so good it made it really hard to narrow things down but here's what I went with. Yours Truly is a romance by Abby Jimenez where two doctors unlucky in love realize romance might still be in the cards. I also chose The Last Word, which is a thriller by Taylor Adams. In this one, a house sitter starts encountering eerie things after posting a negative review of a horror novel. Now these two picks are on complete opposite sides of the genre spectrum, which is kind of nice because based on my mood that day, I can decide what I wanna read. Book of the Month knows that we're short on time, so they vet hundreds of books to make sure we only get the best and most engaging stories. And as of last month, they now also offer audiobooks. So you can use your monthly credit for an audiobook or a hardback book, whatever suits your Fancy. Then download the Book of the Month app to listen to your audiobooks at any time. Book of the Month has a special offer for new members. You can use code FLOWERS for $5 off your first month. And don't forget, Mother's Day is right around the corner. Make sure you get her Book of the Month as a special gift and you'll be the favorite kid hands down. Find a link down in my description to get in on this great deal. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video and thank you to you for watching. I really appreciate it. And you know we can't go far without giving some love to our Cup of Caffeine sponsor. And to help me do that, I want to introduce you to my new best friend. This is Pepper. Pepper was adopted from my sister-in-law just a few weeks ago and now I couldn't imagine life without my sweet boy. Oh my gosh, he's so squirmy. He's a little squirmy worm. Come sit up here. Come on, right here. Up there? Okay, fine. Well, let me adjust the camera because he wants to sit up there. So today's cup of caffeine sponsor is Kenya. And when donating, Kenya said, thank you for all your work. I just started learning to crochet this past year and your videos have been super helpful and entertaining. Thank you so much, Kenya, for the donation and for watching my videos. It means the world to me and I'm grateful that I could be part of your learn to crochet journey. And if you are watching this right now and interested in learning how to crochet, you can jump in to my learn to crochet course, which is called Crochet Academy. It's going on right now. We still have a couple weeks left and it's not too late to join. And you can find a link for that down in the description. Now let's talk hooks. Ready? Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So let's kick this review off by going over some of the features of both of these crochet hook sets. Clover Amores come in a set of 10 hooks and include sizes 2.25 millimeter, 2.75, 3.25, 3.5, 3.75, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, and 6 millimeter hooks. They're packaged in a plastic container with a foam insert at the bottom to keep all of the hooks sitting up and looking pretty. The dots hooks are sold exclusively by We Crochet and have nine hooks in the set. Size include two millimeter, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and six millimeter. They come in a low profile cardboard case, which makes them perfect for gifting. Both sets include the standard larger sizes, but they do make up for what each other lacks in those smaller sizes. This is gonna be incredibly important for people who use those smaller hooks, like amigurumi artists or lace workers. Now let's talk about the handle design. Both hooks are color coded, with Amores leaning toward a primary color rainbow, while dots go with a pastel rainbow. Both handles have a 
a rubberized material made from thermoplastic. Amores have the same material throughout, while dots have a combination of the softer TPR laid over a harder polypropylene. This is going to result in the Clover Amores having a little bit more spring and like bounciness in the handle when compared to the dots hooks. And call me nitpicky, but I didn't really love the light pink plastic that's on the dots hooks. From the photos, I thought it was going to be white or maybe cream. So when it showed up and it was light pink, it's fine, but it's definitely something I noticed and I don't love it. The thumb rests on both of the hooks are very similar with one major difference. The dots hooks have a raised section just above the thumb rest, assumingly to indicate exactly where your thumb should go. The Amores, however, give you the freedom to place your thumb anywhere on the hook. Taking a closer look at the handles, you'll find that both have some debossed messaging. The Amores have the hook size in both millimeter and letter, and just below that is the embossed Clover logo. The dots hooks, on the other hand, only have the size in millimeter, which is fine for me, but those who refer to their hooks by the letter name are going to have a little more of a learning curve. You'll also find a hole at the bottom of the dots hooks, which you can use to hold a stitch marker or some other little charm. Now let's get into the hook heads themselves. Both Amores and dots have an aluminum hook head with a matte coating. The Amores are consistent throughout, but I did find some inconsistencies with the dots. At least one of my hooks seems to be missing a bit of its coating, leaving a shinier hook with a little bit more drag. Giving them a feel, I would say the Amours are definitely smoother. On a scale of 1 to butter, the Clover Amours, I'm giving them a 10 out of 10 easy. The Dots, I'll probably give them an 8 out of 10. Very close, but there are some differences. Both hooks exhibit a hybrid hook style, which is great for those who like tapered or inline hooks. They're nearly identical from the front, with Dots hooks insert being a little bit longer than the Amours. The main difference is seen from the side, though. While the Amours Amores have a rounded shape along the back side of the hook. The dots are almost shaved flat as you approach the tip of the hook. Now giving them a quick measure, the Clover Amores come in at five and a half inches long while the dots hooks are six and a half inches long. And this makes a huge difference to folks like me who have big hands. Now you can find the Clover Amores in a set like this or in individual hooks. And you can pick those up from marketplaces like Amazon, big box stores like Joanne. You can get them from the Clover website themselves or from specialty craft stores. Individual Individual hooks are going to run you about $9 a piece and the set is going to clock in around $80. But I found that Amazon typically has Clover Amours on sale like every single day for somewhere around 40% off. Dots hooks on the other hand are sold exclusively from We Crochet in a pack of nine for $24.99. Now these hooks did sell out within hours when they first launched in December of 2022. They sold out within days when they brought them back in January of 2023 and it happened again when they brought them back for a third time in March of 2023. At the time of filming this video, they are currently sold out, but there is a button on the website that you can click. It says notify me and they will send you an email when those are back in stock. We've talked through all of the features and those are well and good, but the most important thing is how well do these hooks stitch? So let's do a little stitch test. I'm going to be working on a whip of mine. It's this little colorful cotton number. I'm using a four millimeter hook and the project uses cotton yarn. First, let's try out the Clover Amores. And now let's try out the We Crochet Dots hooks. As you can see, both hooks glide through the project just like butter. And that shaved hook head on the back of the We Crochet Dots, not an issue at all. What I did have issue with was two main things, the thumb rest and the hook material. Now here's the thing, and this is different for every maker, but I personally place my thumb a little bit higher on the thumb rest than maybe is indicated by the hook itself. This isn't an issue with the Clover Amores since their thumb rest is flat all the way up and down. My issue was with the Dots hooks. Now, since they have that little hump at the top of the thumb, Thumb rest, I found myself putting my thumb 
on the hump as opposed to the thumb rest itself. Now this is a little bit annoying because it isn't typically how I like my thumb placed on a project, but I have worked with these hooks a lot well beyond filming this video. So I know that that doesn't end up being too much of an issue for me, but it is something I notice. More of an actual problem though is the material on the dots hooks for me. The Clover Amores being a little bit shorter rest just at the base of my pinky, which is comfortable for me because then I can use my hand to push the hook through the stitches. The We Crochet Dots hooks being an inch longer sit at a different place on my hand which wouldn't be an issue but that hard plastic on the hooks rubbing against my hand for hours perhaps does start getting a little irritating. Now I can put a little bit of tape on the bottom of the hooks or even just put some lotion on my hands and that usually fixes the problem but if we're talking about a side-by-side -side comparison of these hooks irritating my hand from the material of the hook is just not an issue with my Clover Amores. Now while similar at first glance both of these hooks do have their pros and cons. Clover Amores are readily available and they do have that nice material all the way down the handle but they are a bit pricey and they're on the short side. Now We Crochet's dots do have that great price going for them and the length is a real plus but it's a little tricky for me to get past some of the aesthetics and the friction that it puts on my hands is a deterrent. So if you put me in a desert island situation which of these hook sets am I going to go with? It's going to be the Clover Moors if I can only choose one but thankfully we don't really have to choose. Amazon has the Clover Amours on sale nearly every single day, making them a lot more accessible than you think. And if you're one of those makers that doesn't like to shop on Amazon, I understand. If you're here in the US, you can get these from Joanne. Currently, they're priced at $87.99. And Joanne regularly has 20, 30, 40, sometimes 60% off in item coupons that you can use towards your hooks. As for the dots hooks, we will need to be patient until they're back in stock, but make sure you hit that notify me button. I will say last time they were in stock, I got three sets. So one for myself and two to hold on to for gifts. Clocking in at less than $3 per hook, this is a great set to gift to an aspiring crocheter. So that is it my friends. I'm sure you now know more about Clover Moors and We Crochet's dots than you ever wanted to know. But that information is going to make it easier to decide if one or both of these hook sets is a good fit for you. You can find links to the individual Clover Moors, the Clover Moors sets, as well as the dots hook sets down in the description. And if you use those links, they are affiliates and go a long way in supporting this channel. I also wanted to give some love to Kayla from Llama Mama Kayla. She did a video similar to this. She is so cute and so bubbly. Make sure you go check her out. Now let me know which one of these hooks you lean toward most down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>